So courtesy of the Transformers Chili Facebook group, we have our first look at the packaging of the upcoming Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Shadow Panther and Waspinator. These figures are in the Kingdom Wave 4 Deluxe, showed up out of nowhere at Erion Toy Store, a single toy store at Santiago Chile. Both figures have nice packaging art as usual and looks just like the recent Kingdom style. And some people have already opened them up. Now, the, each figure is priced at thirty-three, thirty-seven, which is probably the price that it is in Chile in that country. Um, they also showed off that in this wave, it comes with uh, Paleo Tracks and Tracks. And so this is all from, of course, our favorite place to be, TFW 2005, who are reporting these pictures. So we're going to take a look at them and just do a quick synopsis of what we're going to get. Um, and you know just share my thoughts of what I think and we're gonna go into it so this is what you get inside of the wave box uh, the two newest figures of course being Waspinator and Shadow Panther looking at Waspinator as I stated before I still think the Generations and of course the Japanese Legends version is better this still just looks cheap to me however I might still pick him up just depends on how things go um it's it's 50 50 on him right now it still is uh i'm just it's just something about him that's off but for those of you that want him uh, this is your perfect opportunity um you know 20 steps it's typical kingdom box you know look like beast wars organic earth-like material now on the shadow panther which is another kind of letdown because he has the mutant head which I would have preferred the, you know, face like Cheetor because that's what the original toy looked like. Um, you know, I don't know, man. I'm, I don't know. I mean, uh, I just don't know. You know, I might pick them up. I might not, you know. But it's the last wave, so they may be in short supply. So I might just get them anyway and really just keep them in the box. So overall, I'm probably going to pick these two up. It only took me a few minutes to realize that I probably won't even review these two just for the simple fact that I don't like either one of them as repaints. I would have just preferred, Wasp, uh, especially Shadow Panther, having the original head like the original Shadow Panther did. The mutant head and not being able to switch away, away from it is, I don't like that at all. Waspinator, he just looks cheap to me. Um, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see. So what are your thoughts? I know a lot of people are really digging the Waspinator. Um, the most, uh, you know, because they really want a Waspinator, and he's a very popular, iconic character in the Beast Wars original series, so you know, that's a gimme, but me personally, i rather get Generations, just overall, i rather get Generations. So leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, my name is Super Robot Ed, just bringing you the news. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you soon with more reviews soon.